Hey guys, it's Will here and I'm back with another unboxing. Today I've got the Space Marine Storm Raven gunship. Now I've picked this up for a number of reasons. Firstly, um, this is going to allow me to do the Raven Hawk assault formation for my salamanders, which we recently got access to in Angels of Death. So it'll be uh, fun to try that out. But also, um, on the horizon, it seems like flyers might be a bigger part of the game. I'm uh, not quite sure when this video is going up, but at the point I'm filming it, Death from the Skies has just gone up for pre-order. So, uh, you know, flyers could be a, a bigger thing. Not sure if I'm going to pick that book up yet. There's still some sort of question as to whether it's uh, like rules that are really going to be compulsory if you want to run flyers now, or whether it's just a, an expansion like Escalation or Planet 4 was. But uh, we shall wait and see, and uh, maybe stay tuned for this channel. I might uh, do some uh, review on that. But yeah, um, I've got my um, my Storm Raven here, and either way, this is getting added to my Salamander army. So uh, let's get this box open and see what we get. Hang on, I'm having to do this one-handed. Um, there you go. Oh, almost there. There we are. So it's a big old box. It's uh, as you can see, nice and deep. You get a lot in here, and uh, you better do the price you pay for it. Um, yeah, so you've got instruction manual is pretty standard for GW, by which I mean far better than any other company give you. You know, people have their complaints about GW, but they have some really good positives. Like these, these manuals really show you what to do. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's good stuff. And we've got our standard bits in here. So we've got our flight stand, nice big base, and I do like these big bases. When you put the stand on there for a second, you see you've actually got loads of free space on there. And to a, a player or a painter like me, when I see all that free space, I'm like, excellent, conversion, scenic base, here we come. So uh, yeah, that's a, a nice little opportunity with that. And we've got our canopy pieces, so we've got the, the front canopy here, and then the, the top canopy as well. Um, leave those off the model, obviously, and stick them on once it's all painted. Then the kit's got four jam-packed sprues. So this first one is all like the major, a lot of the major components. We've got the two sides here. These which I think sit where the engine joins the wing. And then the main engine components up here. If I flip it over, we've got these little symbols here. If you remember back in the day when the Storm Raven first came out, it was only for Blood Angels and Grey Knights. So we've got the symbols for them actually on the on the sprues, which is quite cool. Um, we've got a second kit of major components here. We've got these nice big wing pieces, tail fin, interior components here to make the uh, make the fuselage, and then we've got the uh, the top of the fuselage up here. And if we zoom in on the cockpit, got some lovely little details in there. So uh, you definitely want to leave the canopy uh, canopy. Um, is it canopy? Yeah. Yeah, the canopy off the top so you can uh, see it. It didn't sound like the right word, but no, it is right. Yeah, you've got some nice little details there. So you want to paint them up and leave the canopy off. Then this sprue starts to get to a lot more of the detail components. We've got engine vents, door flaps, landing gear, etc. Um, and this is quite nice. You've got um, these, which I think are like the insides of the crew compartment. So as well as obviously being fully detailed on the outside, you've got fully detailed inside as well. Extra wing components, uh, more landing gear, and up here the uh, plasma cannons, which is one of the weapon options. To be fair, not one I've seen very often on these. I think people tend to go with the assault cannon these days, but you get your plasma cannons on there. And then your final sprue. Again, a lot more of the details. You've got the tail section and you've got this little top turret. You've also got most of the weapon options here. So uh, that is the Typhoon missile launcher, multi-melter, heavy bolter, assault cannon, las cannon, and the wing-mounted missiles. So you get all the available options on this. You've even got the hurricane bolters on there. So you, you really do get everything. And then we've got the, the crew, you've got Tech Marine Gunner and also a Servitor Gunner. So uh, yeah, lots of nice little details on that kit. Um, and I say, it, judging by the size of some of these pieces, and if we just get this back, bear in mind that only runs about two thirds of the length of that. And that is, you know, it's good, well, at least 
eight inches, eight, nine inches. That's not the full length of the model. This is going to be a big old kit. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to getting this put together and um, also uh, unleashing it on the battlefield. You know, I've got a plan to have um, this in the Ravenhawk assault group. So we've got Stone Guard and a Dreadnought coming out of here. Oh, that's the other thing you get. Um, I didn't show you. If I flip this bit over on this side, you've got like the grapple and that um, for the Dreadnought because uh, the idea is this transports as well as a squad of dudes inside. You've got a Dreadnought hanging off the back. And so there's like the winch mechanism for that. So that's all cool. It's, uh, it's a nice kit. Now, the one thing people do say about this is it is a little bit of a boxy model. And yeah, I mean, let's have a look at the, uh, the box art here again. It has been compared to, at best, a flying Land Raider, at worst, a flying toaster. Now, that's a little unfair. You've got to bear in mind, when they, when they first put this kit out, they didn't have any space for any flyers in plastic. You know, it's a reasonably old kit now. And actually, once you get it built up, it can look quite nice. Some of the angles they take the pictures from do make it look a bit boxy. But I reckon, you know, maybe leave this, like, piece behind the turret off and just have the turret separate. Oh, not separate, you know, it's the only piece sticking on top of the model. That's going to help to drop some of the boxiness. And I'm probably not going to run it with these hurricane bolters. So that might make it slim down a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it isn't as nice a looking kit as the new um, Stormhawk that's coming out but you've got to remember this was years ago now that this came this kit came out and plastic technology and computer aided design technology has come on leaps and bounds in that time so for its time it's uh, not really that bad looking kit and I mean what else are you gonna design to fit the Space Marine aesthetic and transport a full squad of 10 and a Dreadnought you know they've got a design brief and they've uh, They've made something that, while it may not entirely look like it can fly, if it can get off the ground, it can certainly do the job. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for more. Um, I might actually do a painting tutorial on this showing how I would tackle such a large model. But uh, yeah, that, uh, that may, may or may not be coming, but keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.